My father-in-law's resignation email from 2002. On account of because, I have a problem with my eyes. I can't see you working there anymore. Cheers. <laughs> a much better mindset. Any experience? No, sir. Well, I hope you'll gain some here. You're hired. <laughs> oh, if only. The grind grinding me to the ground. Me showing up to my evening job after 10 hours of my day job. I'm never doing that again. Dubai is where sad rich people go. Happy rich people go to places like Hawaii and surf. Where do sad poor people go? To work. People in the 1920s. I lost my house, my job, and all my savings. I'm ruined! People in the 2020s. I never had any of those. Recently posted at work. Hmm. You're not paid to think. A mindless worker is a happy worker. Shut up and do your job. I think a disgruntled employee threw this up. I totally would have. Home is our real life. You are totally replaceable at work. You're not replaceable at home. Home is your real life. Keep that perspective always. And don't believe anybody that tries to tell you otherwise. Comcast, Walmart, Target, McDonald's, they don't own you. It may seem like it, but they don't. And if your managers try to tell you otherwise, honestly, just eat them. Eat them right there. Effective immediately to the manager at Gringo's, I'm a quitter. Uh, you know what? I love fantastic quitting stories, and my favorite quitting, well, not really story, ever, was a guy who quit working at a hotel, and he hired a line band to come in, and then threw the letter in his manager's face. When you've been at work nine hours and see dogs on Instagram with two million followers who generate more income than you, oh god, you can't do that, man. What do I need? I have to have a bachelor's degree, and I will be making nine dollars an hour. Cool. Why don't you take away the salary entirely and just shoot me? I have to work an hour before I can afford to buy three of these. I make 3,000 of them every hour. Dude. Sorry, due to staffing shortages, the pumpkin decorating department, PDD, has been dispatched to another decorating unit. Damn it! LMAO! This can't be legal. To all the staff that work this Saturday, October 29th, I know there are a bunch of Halloween parties going on this weekend. If you do not show up for your shift or call in, I will take this as you are quitting your job here. A lot of jobs immediately fire you for a no-call, no-show. A lot of them will give you a cop at times you can do that, but eh, it's kind of rare. This company claims to care about people. Their choice of toilet paper determines that was a lie. Ooh, right. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Wish there was a law against making you explain any gaps in unemployment. Like, why can't you just not want to work for a bit? Christ. I don't know why it would be any of their f business anyway, to be perfectly fair. And no, I don't need you guys to justify multi-billion dollar corporations and their decisions, because they're all bad. As a cure for worrying, hard work is better than whiskey. Hard work on something you love, sure. Bus drivers in Japan went on strike, but continued to drive their routes while refusing to take fares from passengers. So keeping Japan on time, but costing the bus companies gas on top of lost revenue. <laughs> they were paying a lot to keep that shit running, that's a fun strike. Don't have money to pay off your debt? Just make more money! A must-do option. Earn more money. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. No matter what your student loan situation is, every borrower should focus on earning more money. But this is especially true if you can't afford your private student loans. The fact is, there are 168 hours in each week. You might work 40 to 50 hours at your day job. You sleep 7 hours a night, so a total of 49 hours each week. For simplicity, let's call that 100 hours. What are you doing with the remaining 68 hours each week? Oh, right! Shoot! If I want the right to go to college for any reason, I should be willing to damn near kill myself to pay back a loan. Right. This system totally works. How it feels working under capitalism? Yeah, except worse. Imagine if this behavior was normalized. Think the corpos would start to get the message? Dear all, as of today, I'm resigning from my job as the dual front office manager. Unfortunately, this company turned out to be way below my expectations. I got to meet good people, though. I wish the good people the best in their endeavors. Seerly, seerly? I can't read. Sincerely, dual front office manager. Boss, why aren't you working? Me? I didn't see you coming. Yeah, honestly, man. I got an I emailed you three days ago message this morning. Friday afternoon at 4.47, this person emailed me. They followed up at 8.15 this morning. 28 minutes. They emailed me 28 working minutes ago. Bye. Something really messed up happened to me at work. What do you think about this? The big box store I work at's been doing really well meeting our sales goals lately, so management decided to throw a pizza party. Yeah. 
I know. When we get there, it was generic pizza from Little Caesars, and there was a two-slice limit, and some dollar store soda that ran out almost instantly. I got my paycheck for that week. They took out $8 per person for the party. I could have gotten a whole pizza for that money. No, yeah, that is pretty disgusting. They got you the cheapest, crappiest stuff, limited you, and they took enough money for you to have gotten yourself an entire pizza and a soda. You could have gotten a Little Caesars, gotten a full one for yourself, and a soda, dude! God damn, that's pathetic. My last job sent me my check exactly six months later, so it'd be void and I couldn't cash it. Get a lawyer involved. They're not allowed to do this shit. I converted a school bus into a wood shop so I can travel and sell my wares. I don't want to be stuck in a dead-end job anymore and never see anything. Honestly, that's a pretty sick endeavor. I hope it works out great for you. And the wares? They look pretty sick. I'd buy them. Let's normalize not confusing someone's free time with their availability. Yeah, just because I have nothing to do right now does not mean I owe you my time. I'm chillin'. Let me be. Your job title is temporary. How you treat others, that is what will be remembered. No, I don't think I'm gonna be remembered at all. Teen Vogue's out there educating. For example, if you ask for a raise by yourself and your company doesn't want to give it to you, your boss might be completely within their rights to fire you. Seems bad, right? However, if you and even just one other coworker unite and go to the boss to ask for a raise together, legally the boss can't retaliate against you. That becomes protected concerted activity under the National Labor Relations Act. I would really enjoy it if someone could confirm this for real. Individually, we beg. United, we bargain. Arkansas waitress was fired for not sharing her $4,400 tip with the coworkers. Owner wanted a cut also. She said pooling tips never happened in the three years she worked there. She's made nearly $10,000 on GoFundMe since being fired. Wow, I'm sorry, but um, you as the owner of the restaurant don't get to run your business based off of tips, pay them a lower wage in general, and then when someone pays them a ton of money in their tip, it's not yours. You don't get any of it, and I'm sorry to say, none of the other co-workers get any of it. The owner especially, though, okay? She could share it with the other, you know, workers if she wants to, you know, whatever, that's fine, I don't give a shit. But the owner can get fucked. Absolutely not your fucking money. This guy told his job he didn't want a birthday party because of his anxiety. They threw him one anyways. He had a panic attack. They fired him for his behavior. He sued, and now they owe him 450 grand. Hopefully they have to actually pay that. Who's the boss now? Hey, where are you at? What? You told Mark you could work the night shift tonight. No, I did not. I told Mark I couldn't work Monday. I told him you couldn't work in the morning, but you could work normal hours. Hmm, as you know, I found out yesterday that my dad passed away. I'm gonna go ahead and at least take the one day I get a week off to mourn his death. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience this will have caused you. My uncle died a few days ago. I lost my grandpa. Stop being a victim. Mail me my check. I quit. And go f yourself. No, 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 no. Don't ever have them mail the check. You go fucking get that check. Because I've got a sneaky suspicion they'll forget as long as they possibly can. Kind of like that check that got mailed six months far too late that we looked at earlier. If you like working for money, piss off. Oh boy. We've decided it's time to expand the Valley Nutrition in Apple Valley. We aren't looking for just anyone. You need to be self-motivated, but coachable, ambitious, and friendly. Have a positive attitude and a true desire to help people. We're also looking for someone to work with us, not for us. That being said, a strong desire desire to own your own business or manage a space as desired. If you're just looking for a paycheck, this probably isn't the adventure for you. <laughs> you're f***ing right. Bye! He took off his clothes to prove a valuable point. In Mexico, a member of parliament removed all of his clothes in parliament during the debate. You're ashamed to see me naked, but you're not ashamed to see your people in the streets naked, barefoot, desperate, jobless, and hungry after you've stolen all their money and wealth. Hopefully the message came across, but only if you're willing to be a Pepsi family. A Pepsi family, LMFAO. My father worked for your bottling company for 25 plus years. You fired him after denying to extend his leave while he was undergoing chemo. I guess to avoid paying out insurance? He died a few months later. F you and Pepsi families. Pizza party, but employees will pitch in on the cost. You read that right. Engineering manager wants to have a pizza party so people can connect. But wait, he wants us to pitch in on the total cost. Oh, it's scheduled for a Friday too, in case you were wondering. Laugh out loud with me, would you? Hope they don't expect me to attend. I'm not pitching in and I'm not going to attend. I quit my teaching job and now make more bartending for 15 less hours per week. Also, I get blamed for way less and get told thank you way more. No lesson plans or grading papers. 
Dude, bartending is an amazing gig. You can pull down six figures bartending, dude. This is in the employee handbook at my new job. Wage confidentiality, illegal. All wage and salary information is personal and confidential. No, it's not. Wage ranges and salaries for each job are reviewed and compared at regular. No, they're not. And yes, I will talk about my salary and I will ask about other salaries. You wanna know why? Because it keeps you fuckers honest. I like working. What upsets me so much about our current circumstance is that I genuinely like to work, just not for an unlivable wage in a place that takes away most of my time. Work gets me out of the house, around new people, and gives me purpose. But that's quickly undercut by the notion that my purpose has become lining some CEO's pockets. That's not even mentioning that a lot of jobs tend to be dangerous and I'm not going to cut my life short for somebody else's profit. I'm really frustrated and I hope I'm not alone in this. No, you're not. I feel the exact same goddamn way. Not in my current situation, but dude, I felt it for really all of my adult life minus the past couple of years. Reminder that New York City pay transparency law goes into effect on November 1st. This means companies must share the salary for all job openings, including internal transfers and promotions. Oh yeah! <laughs> A guy on our site died yesterday. I work in tech and was just told to grab his computer and save his files. Makes you think. He worked his ass off for this place and didn't even get a weekend. Just dead between weekdays. Do the things you want to do now before you can't. People nowadays after income tax got doubled, gas prices are record high and inflation skyrockets. I lived through worse. People who two centuries ago when tax on tea got a few percent higher as a way to repay for war support. I am the first raider and bloodshed shall have no end. We're getting there, man. Hiring manager who interviewed you. Kit does not include feedback, salary range, compensation for completed project. I love that they're just not allowed to tell you why they didn't hire you. I mean, they are, but they refuse to. Like, I remember a friend of mine, I tried to get him a job at Comcast, which I'm glad that didn't work out, but I tried, and he interviewed maybe four separate times, got through all three interviews that day every time, and was never called back ever again. Ever. And I tried so f***ing hard to figure out what the hell was going on, and they just said, nah, it's policy, we can't tell them. I worked at Subway in high school, and a customer demanded to speak to a manager because her $5 footlong was not exactly $5. I tried explaining to her that sales tax is normal, and $5.35 is the price of anything after tax. She continued to yell and cuss at me. She even specifically stated she does not have to pay a tax. It was at that moment I accepted that there was no being rational with some people. Oh yeah, there are some people out there that are too deficient to live, or at least function properly. And if you're one of those people like that, maybe don't go to Subway, you know what I'm saying? My boss deactivated my coworker's email who just quit too quickly and didn't realize it controls our company calendar. So now all of those events for the next three years are gone. What a dumbass. Never really could, but this hits harder these days. We can't afford to shop at any store that has a philosophy. Mmm, I feel that. Millennials are causing a baby bust. They're not having enough kids to keep the US population at the replacement level. That's because rent is $1,500 and jobs are paying $12 an hour. You know, what the fuck you want us to do? People ask what you do for a living so they can calculate the level of respect to give you. I don't know for a fact if Donnie Yen actually said this or not, but if he did, yeah. I need to know why you're not at work. No, you don't. I missed work today, just because I felt like it, which is 100% acceptable. And my personal email was blown up by my supervisor and another team lead, both asking the same thing. Please respond back with why you weren't at work today and when you'll return. The protocol we have when missing work is to email workforce management, which I did at 6.30 a.m. That's it. So please stop harassing me with emails. Stop trying to pry. Stop trying to find reasons to contact people not in the office when you truly have no reason to do such a thing other than to be a bitch and an asshole. <laughs> My favorite thing when I worked at Best Buy was I don't answer calls from Best Buy. Straight up. I mean, I did, and I did, I did. Look, sometimes I would see it and go, screw it, I know what they need, fine, I'm bored, I'll go in and work right now. But if it's your day off, you do not have an obligation. You do not. Boomers, there's a huge labor shortage. Six million jobs opened up. They'll hire anyone with experience and pay six figures starting. Reality, apply to 500 jobs, get one callback. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> oh man. Bow movements on company, oh, bowel movements on company time? The lighting timer has been optimized according to the Cleveland Clinic standard time for a, a bowel movement. When the lights go out, you have exceeded the average time needed. BMs beyond the lightning. I keep thinking it's lightning and I know it's not and I don't know why. 
Maybe there is a lightning timer in your office bathroom, which would be cool as hell. All I can say is, what, you think I'm afraid to shit in the dark? You know what? If that light turns off on me while I'm in there, oops, looks like it took me an hour and a half to take a dump. Here's the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire. One million seconds ago, it was last week. One billion seconds ago, it was 1990. If the salary is so competitive, why don't you tell me what it is? From all job seekers. Oh, it's because competitive means low as f but will make you think you can earn more. I simply wish to live and engage in meaningful projects without having to constantly find ways to commodify my mind, body, and time in order to sell them on the market for a pitiful fraction of what they're worth to be allowed to survive. Micromanager comes with daily timesheets, task lists, hourly check-ins, after-hours texts, inflexible work policy. <laughs> uh, after-hours texts? You mean blocked numbers? I'm still in shock. Good morning. Did you create an order for this week or an inventory? I'm confused. Was my position eliminated or not? Yes, but you did inventory and prepped an order on Sunday. Was wondering where it was, if at all. Oh, bless your heart. You don't fire someone and then still contact them to ask questions about the job because you don't know. 25 years in the kitchen, just thought you would have been a professional. In 25 years, I've never had anyone fire me and then expect me to still work. I'd rather have better compensation. Oh, novel thought, right? There's a reason to celebrate. Thanks to you, in whatever, our U.S. business delivered sales over $500 million and our Nor- Oh, North American business? Wait, what? Set an all-time high for earnings at $143 million for the first time ever. That means donuts on us tomorrow and Friday. Ha 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 ha! Woo! Yay! I get a donut that costs the company four fucking fractions of a penny and they get half a billion dollars. Woo! The smarter we make the AI, the less it wants to do our jobs. Hmm, it's almost like our jobs are horrible. Just been to an interview where they were 40 minutes late. Plus, the interviewer kept interrupting me and has that smug, I know better than you attitude. Guess I know what to say if they offer me the job, and if they don't, at least glad I dodged a bullet there. I hate interviews, and if I didn't need to give me, or rather, if I didn't need a job to give me income to live, I wouldn't even have bothered. Oh man. <sighs> I applied for a job at Southwest Airlines once. Just a baggage handler, you know, basic, bottom rung, whatever. And I have never been more mistreated in an interview in my life. That woman was just a next level jerk. Boomers want to eliminate work from home so they can start having affairs again. Uh. Reminder that your kid should leave home at 18 is a psyop by the central banks to make 10 Wait, external family members pay 10 rents and mortgages, 10 sets of utilities, 10 car payments, and 10 of every item needed for a home, plus entertainment and stress relief to cope with being alone. I believe in this one. So sad I can't get a sugar fix. No donuts, no baker. I wonder why. Maybe the baker should have been paid more. It's our hilarious intern's last day. He's autistic and a super straight shooter. My VP asked him in front of everyone on his way out, you gonna miss this place and the people at all? And he said, um, no, and walked out. Booyah! People no longer believe working hard will lead to a better life, survey shows. Well, I wonder why. Do not charge any phones or electrical devices on the premises. It is theft of electricity and will be deducted from your pay. All phones must be turned off. All right, how are you gonna calculate how much electricity I use to charge my phone? Because if you overcharge me, I will charge you back. It's that simple. You can't charge me 50 bucks to charge my phone. I know that it was like eight cents worth of electricity usage, literally at most, and that's probably being too generous. Old people be like, Gen Z leaves jobs too easily, then get fired in an email after working somewhere for 37 years. More businesses need to be like this. To all new customers, I take pride in making a sandwich. My staff and I do not rush. This concept has been working for over 60 years at Dante's. If you have no patience, please leave. Yeah, more businesses do need to be a little bit more upfront with customers about stuff like that. Like, dude, if you're late, by the f stop him for a sandwich, that's not my problem. Maybe you should pay your employees for their outstanding service instead. The delivery fee is not a tip. Oh, our drivers are so great, but we're taking all that f money. I quit my job yesterday. I'd only been there two months. It was chaos and drama from the second I started. In the end, my boss accused me of lying about placing orders, insane, and I had the proof to show that I had placed them, because obviously, it was just a bizarre place with horrible leadership. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I chose my own happiness over a toxic work culture, and I'm really proud of myself for setting the boundary. 